Good morning, everyone. This is Daniel with Chef Dan's Hookah. And what's in my bowl today? Yet another unreleased brand new flavor from Alpha Kama. This one is called the Freeze Passion Fruit Mango. And I apologize for the sunbeams. If I sat over here like I usually do, it'd be blinding me in the eyes and I wouldn't be able to see a thing. So if I get some odd uh, dark images or light images, that's why. So I'm letting you know that ahead of time. Something that I noticed right off from this package compared to the last one is that it's slightly textured like the uh, newer Alfaca packaging. And even though it does, I won't say that it really provides grip or anything else, but it adds a nice bit of embossing and texture to the box that's otherwise just flat printed. And this one, just like yesterday, it has cubes of ice behind a pile of fruits. As you can see, it clearly says the uh, passion fruits and the mangoes, and shows it nice and clear, very colorful, just like all the other packaging. Now, before I get into all the smells and other visual aspects of it, the setup for today is this one. This is Romulus, a Triton Zip hookah with a Maya base, Egyptian clay bowl two black diamond flats and a provost tray foiled and water in the base with a Starbuzz lightning hose. Now, unlike the freeze flavor that I showed you guys yesterday, which was really red, here we go, back to the regular Alpha Common Golden color. I found that a little unusual, but whatever. <laughs> so, but um, this one, yeah, it doesn't have the coloring in it. And it's just like most other Alpha or Alpha Comic cuts. It's, uh, as you can see, it's inconsistent and slightly choppy, different sizes, a few stems here and there. Juicy, but not swimming. And the smell of it, you definitely get the scent of mango right up front. So that's very nice. It almost smells like it's fresh cut. And you also get that nice kind of God, what's the two words? You know, tropically tangy is the best way I can describe it. As I said, I hadn't have a real, hadn't had a real big experience of eating fresh passion fruit, so I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to immediately taste like. And but the smell smells just like the passion fruit fr itself. I used to have to prepare these for fruit trays and stuff like that in the big end hotels, so I've smelled them, but I've never tasted them. When you inhale, you get a slight cooling effect in your nose, and I'm sure that's because of the mint or menthol that's in it. I'm not sure if it's exactly which. According to the package, it just says tobacco, molasses, glycerin, and flavor. And nicotine's 0.05%. That's, that's five hundredths of a percent. That's not very much at all. And other than that, it is, it's sticky, but it's not to the point to where you can't pull apart clumps and do a better fluff pack in the bowl that you choose. So there's that. And smells great. It's the very, very fresh fruit uh, cement, uh, smell to it. I don't know why I said cement, but whatever. <laughs> Probably I'm still waking up. And yeah, it just smells like fresh cut fruits to me, and I really like that. And I've been smoking on this for about 15 minutes now, and when I initially uh, took the draw, you got a big uh, mango flavor in in your in your first initial draw, and then as you were sucking it in and do that, you got that mango, but the passion fruit came on a little bit later, and of course the cooling effect happened in the mouth and on the throat and in the tongue from the mint or menthol. I'm still haven't figured out which one it is. And it was a very nice way to taste all the flavors at once. You could distinguish each and every one. It was very nice. See, so on that one, I got a little bit more passion fruit than mango, so it's kind of switched up a bit, but it still tastes great. It's uh, sweet. It's not cloying or teeth hurting. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. You definitely get the flavors of the mango and the passion fruit. You don't get a whole lot of mint flavor. There's a slight bitterness on the in on the inhale, but that's not because of anything 
like a bad batch or old tobacco or anything else. This stuff's on release. It's very fresh. It's supposed to last, according to the package, till January 2020. So that's definitely not a bad batch or freshness issue. And I think that's because it's the natural flavor of mint. It Yes, it is sweet. It's very fragrant, but also it has a slight bitterness to it by nature. So I think that's what that is. So that's a nice touch. Yeah, and it, uh, now that I've been smoking it for a little while, I'm getting a little bit more passion fruit than mango, and mango has kind of dropped back a bit to be sort of like a strong but very present back note, so it's very nice. Yeah, and that cooling effect, uh, effect from the mint is really, really good. So let's get into the visual aspect of it, the clouds. Nice milky white, they tend to hang around a little bit. It's no breeze today, so they should stick around a little bit longer. That's just me putting the Provost top on a little bit. So I like to smoke it just a little bit hotter than that. As you saw, it's a nice, thick, milky white cloud. It hangs around for a minute. No breeze today, so it won't just fly away like I normally, like usually happens in my videos, but it's just like most other clouds. They're they're pretty, they hang around a while, they carry a nice scent to it, and on the exhale of that, you can definitely smell the mango a lot more than you can the mint or the passion fruit. So it's it tends to go from this flavor to that flavor, back to that flavor, and then that to that flavor, and then it just smells totally different going in as it does going out. So it's not unusual, but I, I just like the complexity of how it's functioning. Yeah, nice clouds to me. I haven't noticed really any buzz to it, and I felt a little something, but it like went away a couple seconds later, so I'm gonna give the buzz a one, as usual, because it's not a very strong buzz and it's easily dismissible. I'm gonna give the clouds a six, and the flavor, I really like this one, so I'm giving it an eight. It's very strong in flavor. It's not overpowering, it's sweet, it tastes, you can taste every little nuance, even though you're breathing it all at once and it's all in your mouth at the same time, you can taste every single thing differently and individually. It's very, very good. So yeah, when this gets released, because this here is an unreleased flavor, Go get yourself some. It's a very good flavor combination. And it'll probably be at the usual websites of Five Star Hookah, Hookah Heroes, Hookah Junkie, and South Smoke. And I think hookahjohn.com has uh, Alpha Comma 2. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Hopefully they get picked up soon. So this again is Chef Dan's Hookah for Alpha Comma Company Flavor Freeze Passion Fruit Mango. And it is an unreleased flavor, so when it gets released, go get yourself some. It should be typical cost of three fifty to four dollars. It gets a fifty gram pack, but I'm sure they'll also come out with two fifties, and those run for about fourteen or fifteen. Very good price. So I am going to finish this bowl and get my day started. I will talk to you guys next time. If there's anything I didn't cover, please put it in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Hey, I'm over here. Tell all your friends about me. Have yourselves a great day. I will talk to you next time and happy smoking.